Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, deploy a uh, niche site from the local BizVortex niche vault. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this niche site, which is the local house painting contractors uh, uh, niche site that we've got, and we're going to put it on a website here this is just a redundant website um, first of all I'm going to create a subfolder so it'll be webthrust.com forward slash house painter uh, first of all you've got to access your um, your files and if you come to the uh, member dashboard for uh, local biz vortex and you click on this uh, tab here for product access uh, if you are a member of the 15 uh, niche site files niche vault, you will uh, probably find this is familiar. Just click on that. So what I've done is I've uh, already got these downloaded, of course, and in my file here. Okay, we've got uh, all the different files. Okay, and we've got the painter niche file here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cPanel. You can actually do this by FTP, but uh, I'm going to use cPanel. And in cPanel, I've just gone to um, webthrust.com, as you can see here. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subfolder. So to do that, we just click on New Folder, and I'm going to call it House Painter. OK. And we create the new folder. OK, so there we are. We've got the new folder there and you'll see if I open it up the directory is empty okay so just going back what we're going to do now is we're going to upload our files to the house painter file okay so um, we'll click on that okay the directory is empty and we're going to upload and we're going to find that uh, house painter file wherever it is uh, okay back to the desktop vortex and niche vault it's in here okay we've got Okay, where did we say painter? Okay, so there it is, and we're uploading. Uh, this will take a few minutes uh, to upload because um, it's a fairly large file. It might take one or two minutes, and uh, that's just starting the upload now. And we'll come back in a moment when that is done. Okay, so that's all done now. Let's just close this window and go back and reload and we should find our painter niche zip files there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that and we're going to extract. Okay, and we want to extract them to a house painter. Okay. So they're extracted. We'll just reload again. And there we are, painter niche. Now, what I need to do is to take the um, uh, two files out of here. You'll see the files that we're going to be using. That's the actual uh, set of niche files, and this is the install PHP file. Now, those we need to actually have on the subfolder for House Painter, and at the moment, of course, they're not because they're in their own little folder here. So what I'm going to do, and this is easy to do but uh, it's something you need to know how to do. I'm going to se select all. Okay, so they're both selected. Okay, I'm now going to move the file. Okay, so I'm going to move them to, you can see what's happened here. We want them to be in here inside House Painter or we need them to be in here. At the moment they're in, in the subfolder uh, that we just opened up. So we're just going to, okay, backspace here. Okay, so that's where we're going to move them to. Directory is empty. If we go up one level, you'll see that the, here they are now. They've appeared here and here. So we can afford to, and we should probably do this, paint a niche zip and the uh, actual opened up uh, folder. We can delete them. We don't need them. We don't want them on this uh, on the subfolder. We've just got, we're here in the subfolder of House Painter, and we've got exactly what we need here. Um, and uh, what we need to do now, that's all ready to go, we need to have a database created because although we have the files all ready to go, if we don't have a database uh, we can't make it work. So we're going to go back into uh, cPanel here and we're going to go to the database 
wizard, okay, MySQL database wizard, and we are going to create a new database and uh, let's just call it uh, Paint One. Okay, we'll call it Paint One, and we'll just go to the next step. Okay, so Paint One username. I suggest keeping that the same as the uh, database name for ease of use. Paint One, and the password. Just use the password generator here. Uh, you can have any password you like. Um, we're going to say yes. We've copied that down, although we haven't, but that's fine. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so now it says create user. We want to create this user Paint One for the Paint One database. We do that. Okay, we don't want to remember the password. Now here, what you need to do here, where it says all privileges, we need to select all privileges and put click next step. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make a note of this information here. We, we already know it's called Syntonic, which is the server name underscore paint one, but we need to make a note of that password. And I find this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, we're going to just make a note of that down here. Okay, so that's in there all ready to go for us. We've got that uh, saved. So now we can go ahead because once we click next step that all disappears. Okay, so now that the database has been set up, we need to navigate to this file here. Okay, this is the um, script that will do it all for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to type into our browser, browser webthrust.com forward slash house painter forward slash install.php so we need to navigate exactly to that file so we go install.php press enter here's the file that we are looking for the script that we're looking for okay so what it's saying is it wants to unpack this zip file here um, from uh, this was the original location. It wants to install it on a webthrust.com house painter. What it's going to do is it's going to take this zip file here and it's going to unpack them for us. So you don't need to manually unpack that because this script is going to do it for you. Okay, so delete package after install. Yes, uh, those things uh, are optional, but I suggest you leave them undone. The uh, host is localhost unless you have something kind of uh, unorthodox going on with your uh, with your host and your server but in most cases you'll find that your host name is localhost and um, the name of the database of course was syntonic underscore okay was the user and the database name were the same so I can take that I can copy that okay and I can say the name of the database is syntonic underscore paint one and the user name is the same that's why I like to keep it the same it's just nice and simple now the password of course is uh, we've got uh, okay that should be right let's just try that right now paste that in away we go so that all looks right okay we have to check this to say we've read all the warnings and notices in most cases it says it's been successful, sometimes it says it fails. I just like to go ahead anyway because if there's a problem it won't work anyway. So reload install. We're going to install and it's saying proceed with installation the following settings. Da -da -da -da. Yes, this may take a few minutes. We want to click on that. Right, you see although we got that error notice everything was fine. So uh, sometimes you'll get a notice if you click test connect saying everything's good green light go ahead sometimes it'll say uh, no it's failed for some reason but if you know that everything's right I suggest you just go ahead and if everything is right you'll get this okay uh, saying that everything's fine if not it basically will say go back and you've done something wrong okay so uh, everything's been checked okay what I like to do here is resave permalinks. I say take me there. This will take me to the WP admin. Admin painter. Whoop. Helps if you can spell. And reset me. 
911 should get us in there yep and we're in okay now once you get in here um, although the post uh, I beg your pardon the permalink is set correctly or seems to be post name it always helps if you reset or resave so we've just done that okay that's done okay now what I like to do now is two things um, it is quite safe to do this please update now WordPress 3.4.2 is available so we're going to update to WordPress 3.4.2 which is the latest version and um, once that's done we'll go to the front end and this takes what 10-15 seconds to do okay so uh, let's just go and have a look visit the site open in a new link okay so you can see what we've got here is basically the site's been done but the styling hasn't been hasn't been uh, set or hasn't been confirmed so uh, what you can do here what you should do is go into uh, appearance look at this vortex and when you get there there's a specific it's going to ask me here for my email address and activation key and it's going to ask you as well so we're going to put that in now okay and that's in so we're in okay now what we've got here you could pick any one of these but we actually designed one specifically for uh, or customize one for painter and here it is painter one here okay so um, you'll find this is exclusive to the painter niche it's not on all of them it's just on this particular one so we'll click on that and um, let's just go back now and have a look okay what do we have here we will refresh and uh, if everything's gone right there you, you can see everything's turned up now okay all the styling is there okay so you know we've got the gallery happening we've got the um, the uh, the jQuery uh, fancy box happening we've got um, all the articles are happening in the FAQ everything is exactly as it is on the niche site so it's all done everything's already uh, and done um, and then from here we go back to home from here of course all you need to do is you need to go into like your general settings and you need to change the name of whatever the site title is going to be uh, these things say, say the same but of course this is going to change you need to put in your own email address um, and um, of course then you need to go into users uh, your profile and change your um, change your password because at the moment it's reset me 911 so you need to reset that and uh, other things that you need to do you need to change basic things like well you're going to put your own quotes in there but the footer information and then the phone number in the bottom you need to change that you need to change the information on your H card to reflect the address and uh, all the logistical information for your uh, address of your business so for the for the website and the other really important thing you need to do is to re-spin the content on your posts and your uh, pages just so that they've got that unique freshness to them so for instance you just go to whatever post and um, go down to the syntax spinner here and click spin now just click that once I won't do it now but click that once Resave the page and uh, all your content on your posts and pages that you do that to will be fresh. There's a separate uh, video on that, but uh, that's basically what you need to do. And that's pretty much it, of course, uh, from there. Uh, anything else is just, you know, customizing how you want it to set up. But uh, if I go back to the site here and I just lift this frame, okay, so you can see in the web browser address bar here, it's on webthrust.com house painter okay so what I'm going to do um, in the uh, in the next video is to show you how we're going to set this up on webthrust.com rather than on webthrust.com forward slash house painter okay so uh, for the time being that does it on this video stay with me and uh, we'll take you through the next one thanks bye now